All right, well, we are on day eight of the election campaign, and issues including abortion and religion are emerging as major themes of this election. Joining us for more is David Rayside. He's with the University of Toronto. He is also co-author of Religion and Canadian Party Politics. Welcome to you. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, both the Green Party and the Conservatives have been challenged on their positions in abortions. I mean, that all came up as of day three. Uh, we are also discussing Bill 21. All major party leaders shying away from taking a firm stance on the religious symbols ban that is happening right now in Quebec. Why is religion in 2019 the major topic of this election, major talking point? It, it's an important talking point. I, I, it's hard to predict whether it will continue to be a major talking point. but. Part of the uh, reason for this is that back in the late 90s and the 2000s, when Stephen Harper was leading the Conservative Party, there was a shift in the kind of block, the blocks of voters uh, between the two major parties. And the Conservative Party made a pitch for social conservative voters. And how and did they do that? Well, they, uh, they would... Uh, raise small issues, for example, having to do with sexual orientation. Uh, they would uh, signal their willingness to listen to communities of faith, and particularly conservative communities of faith. They had been adamantly opposed to same-sex marriage, and they were still wearing that uh, into the 2000s. Uh, and even after Stephen Harper said that that issue was dead, by that time, a lot of social conservatives had gra gravitated to the Conservative Party. And so uh, the Conservatives had a strategic dilemma, and Stephen Harper knew that, and Andrew Scheer knows that even more, that more supporters of uh, the pro-life position reside in the Conservative Party than any other party, but they can't be seen to highlight that issue because it's not going to make them popular in the rest of the country. The Liberals then see and have seen for a couple of decades an electoral advantage. Also, there's a principled commitment to other positions on those social issues. Mm -hmm. So the Liberals have an interest in highlighting the fact that the Conservatives have this strategic dilemma of having social conservatives but not wanting their, the issues that traditionally most concern social conservatives to be high profile. Uh, you know, when you go down to the U.S., uh, God, issues of faith and religion are brought up regularly as part of politics, but we here in Canada adhere to this adage that you don't discuss religion and politics at the dinner table, yet here we are discussing both of them on national television very early into this election campaign. Uh, you know, you say Canadians don't often like to discuss the religion out loud in relation to politics. Uh, is this a wedge issue being driven by the politician, or is this a subject Canadians are actually talking about as they head to the ballot box? Well, I mean, the, the survey data say that about a fifth of Canadians are really seriously committed to their faith, and that includes new Canadians, it includes second-generation immigrants. All it, faiths we're discussing. All, right? all faiths, that's right. So a fifth, that's not a small number. Probably about a tenth of Canadians are religiously conservative. So both of those numbers are no more than half of what they would be in the United States, maybe a third to a half. So there were fewer Canadians who really are ardently faithful. And that means that there is somewhat more reluctance to talk about it and certainly for politicians to talk about it. On the other hand, that represents an important constituency that has a right to be heard and that has a right to participate in politics. It is a fascinating discussion. As you mentioned, we're probably not done having it uh, in terms of religion and politics. David, thanks for being here today. You're very welcome. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.